for the first time, we are hearing from large numbers of Jewish students who gathered on George Washington University's campus. A rally against anti-Semitism and for the release of hostages still held by Hamas. This comes as hundreds continue to rally demanding a ceasefire in Gaza and that their university cut ties with Israel and companies associated with the nation. 7 News has live team coverage as we follow the latest reaction from demonstrators. We want to start with 7 News' Rebecca Turco. And Rebecca, you've been on campus all week following this story. What's changed in the last 24 hours? Well, for one, there's no more barriers piled up here in the middle of University Yard. They'd been placed there by students when they were taken down earlier in the week. Uh, but right now, those were removed, actually, just before 5 this morning. The university had them removed to the shouts of students, and that led to a two-and-a-half-hour rally here later on in the day. Take a listen. Now that Arabic word intifada means an uprising, but it's also a term extremists have used to justify violence. So today I asked organizers what that term means to them in their protest. The struggle we're raging right on campus, the student intifada, the student struggle, is a struggle for divestment from weapons manufacturers and from all corporations complicit in genocide. Glory. So that's students' main demand here. They want GW and area universities to divest from companies they argue are supporting the war in Gaza, companies with business ties to Israel. Demonstrators have been growing in numbers since a week ago today when the first few tents started showing up. Now there's more than 100 of them on University Yard and H Street. A blend of students from area universities are here as well as outside supporters. Students are in the middle of finals right now and those I spoke with are optimistic their demands will be met before finals are over. But if that doesn't happen, that's really the biggest question here because not every student here is from the area, but I am told that they're going to be staying here as long as possible. And every day, really, they've been having different events all throughout the day, like a uh, teach-in that's going on right now. For now, reporting live from GW, Rebecca Turco, 7 News.